All right. How are you doing? You doing good? Well, your day's about to get a lot better. This is Nazebo. This is the king of quick match, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't go that far. He's certainly the king of the late game, though. This is the hero that you want to play when you know the game is going to go infinitely long because he's got infinite stacking. Our first ability is Corpse Spiders. You throw a jar, there's spiders maybe in it. And when you hit something, the spiders pop out. They attack either minions or heroes or mercs or buildings. Whatever you hit, as long as you hit something. If you don't hit anything, there's no spiders. Hmm. Weird how that works. Zombie Wall is your second ability. It is a little bit of a wind-up. It's got a full second delay before zombies pop out of the ground. Circle around your target or, you know, the empty space that you missed your target. And then they try to slap what's ever inside the wall. Then uh, Plague of Toads is your E. You throw a couple toads. They hop around and do poison damage. Good thing if you hit everybody, or if you hit all three toads on one person in front of you, all three toads do that damage and stack together. This does have two charges as well. So if you got somebody dumb enough to stand right in front of you for that long, and you hit them with six fucking toads, it's gonna hurt. Your trait is Voodoo Ritual. This is the closest thing to last hitting that you're going to have in the game. And this is a little poison that your auto attacks and your abilities apply. If you hit a minion and kill it with your trait on it, you get a stack, which increases your health and your mana permanently into forever, because this doesn't have a cap. Your first uh, uh, ultimate is Gargantuan. And this is uh, basically a zone denial ultimate. It's the kind of fire and forget pet. You throw it down, it does some stuff. You can hit your R again, though, and do a cool little shockwave, which is neat. Um, usually your combo goes hit a zombie wall, hit a gargantuan, throw all your other abilities, and then slam that R button for a nice big shockwave. It's pretty, pretty good. So keep that in mind. And then your second heroic ability is Ravenous Spirit. This is less cool, I think, than Gargantuan, but still has its moments. You channel this for eight seconds, and you get to pilot a big old spirity slappy guy. Uh, he whacks things and does some damage, but to be honest with you, you're real easy to interrupt. So try to take Gargantuan. I just I think it's better. We'll see which one makes more sense and get into this game. Okay. This has been a trying hero, not even gonna lie, because the amount of effort today has been rough. Um, this map is not actually very conducive to Nazebo's kit, so... Oh god. This is scary. I guess Garrosh is going top. So we'll go four man bottom with Irel, even though those two positions should be switched. We're going to take Spider Builds, um, but we are also going to take Thing of the Deep to increase our range because a lot of the problem that I've been having with this character to get those wins is walking super close like that to use my abilities and uh, just getting straight fucked up when I'm trying to do that. So let's go ahead and throw some stuff. Wow. Go ahead and put that wall down there. We got the Kerrigan with it. It did not matter though because our uh, damage was dead. That's okay. We're just going to put these abilities out from distance. Try and dodge all that Ming shit from back there. You're not doing very much. Put some toads down. You'll notice uh, one of the most awful things about Nazebo is that his early game uh, has a lot of problems, but he compensates for that with his insane amount of late game damage pressure goodness. Um, 
the other thing you'll probably notice about Nazebo is that all of his abilities have some kind of a wind up. Uh, they, they all have some type of delay in some form or fashion. Uh, Q, the missile speed is ungodly slow. W has a full second delay before it pops. And then the toads, I mean, they're just going to do whatever they want. So let's put this here. See if we can catch anybody. We did, but they got the blink. So that's okay. Let's just put some more toads down. Get the lane to push in. Well, wow, took a lot of damage there. Get more toads out. Toads are our primary siege tool, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we're going to take Blood Ritual here to get some passive healing and mana regen going. Let's try and put some toads out in that direction. Put some toads in that direction as well. Oh, Garrosh, you are all sorts out there, buddy. Nothing with the spiders. Put some toads. See if we can catch somebody. They did not take the bait. Asmo went twop for some reason. Try and help the RL. I mean, it's kind of the job of the solo laner to not need help. Just saying. Get this nullified at least. Got him. And he took some toad damage too. And our auto attack caught him on the way out. So, uh, Blood Ritual gives you 2% of your maximum health and mana back every time your trait procs on someone, which is honestly pretty often. Um, yeah, there you go. Apply all that crap. Get the globe. Throw the spiders. I was going to send some toads in behind. I really thought he was going to go in. I'm kind of unhappy that he didn't and then completely walked away um, that was basically shotgun toad damage if you hit that button when somebody is right up on your face you're gonna get all three stacks of the toad and their poison does stack on top of each other so if you're in melee range hit that E button and then watch the damage happen um, I'm just gonna go top to get the passive pushing here, Asmo can hold the lane, I think. Who really cares about that? Another really important thing about Nazebo is when you put down a shitty zombie wall, you really have to um, turn it off as quick as you can. So if you're going to trap a teammate, you better hit that button one more time and make sure that you don't get them killed uh, at this level we are going to take we're gonna take spirit of Eric here uh, this talent is going to make more spiders when we hit a hero and that uh, it's gonna make actually five spiders I believe it is oh god I wasn't in that awesome Go ahead and slap more spiders. Uh, were we really not on that? That's okay. We're on it now. Just put down the speed throws and walk away. Oh, walk away. A lot of Nazebo, uh, his abilities, they are... Oh, I'm coming! Wow, I put that in the wrong ass spot. And I didn't even turn the wall off because I'm a terrible teammate. Hmm. Well, at least Asmo's gonna get the bottom shrine, so could be worse. Check that bush. Uh, what I was saying... Wow, he took all three of them. What I was saying about Nazebo's abilities, they are all slow, but they all happen in a fairly decent area. So, um, your W and your E are pretty good at denying 
space. They got it again. I can't stop that because I don't know where the enemy team is. Let's go ahead and put this here. Yep. I have absolutely no qualms with doing this with you. Hopefully this means a kill for Irel. Nice. Good job, buddy. My death was not in vain. We got 50 stacks on our Voodoo Ritual at this point, which is a bonus 300 health and 50 mana. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, no, you know what? I never do anything good with Gargantuan. So we're going to... Sorry, not Gargantuan. Ravenous Spirit. We're going to take Gargantuan because... It's going to be more consistent, and it is going to help a lot more on these point fights. So, Rainer, please don't die, Rainer. You're going to die, Rainer. I may die, too. Yep, it looks like it. Go ahead and try to get some passive healing back off of these minions. It's not super easy, but we have our range, so that'll help us stay safe to get that passive regen going. Just go ahead and trap as much shit as we can. Just keep flinging crap from 20 years away. Alright, we stalled enough to get our tap back so we can go in you stayed in the wrong spot buddy but it looks like he's gonna be fine no he's not I think is he gonna die from poison he did righteous Let's put this here block their escape Throw down our Gargantuan. Get him to deal some damage. Good guy, Gary. Like I said, Zebo's got some super sweet area denial. This may not be his best map, but it's certainly not his worst. Ah! Okay. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We got the objective going. Oh, no, you can't hit me. Stop hitting me. All right. Now we turn back, now we pop toads, we run away. I think you're ready to throw our spiders. Throwing them right there. Throw some toads also. Put our W down to block the escape. Oh, I'm gonna die for that. But we got the Rainer with all of our AO or dot damage, so it was okay. Everything worked out better than expected. Um, yeah, we may want, well, these, these are actually going to be really good at clearing this. Uh, watch, they're going to start shredding the armor of these things. And they do have pretty huge health. They're not going to do much on their own, but they should definitely help Asmo get the clear done. Um, he's, okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass, but that's what I felt like they should have done. Heading down to the bottom lane to help the friendly team. Can you get that throw? Yeah, you can. Well, that was a good gust, though. And the Zerg wave for the win. And the Gargantuan and Zombie Wall for the securing of the kills. I don't even mind that Arel took one of those kills for me. That's okay. I'll be a gracious teammate. I will accept the goodness. Just get our toads into this building. This may actually be the game winning push if we're being perfectly honest. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just fling these and back up. Currently at 79 stacks. This is one of the maps that will probably, if it's played right, not go long enough for Nazebo to get full trait build. So keep that in mind when you are drafting this if you are in a draft mode. He is over. Cheeky Genji. Now he's dead. Would have been cool if it worked. Get them sweet zombies. 
out on this building, get it all distracted, put more stacking toad damage. I have not been using my abilities, and I probably forgot to mention what this ability does entirely in and of itself. Um, if you weren't paying attention for Ice Block, we got Ice Block, even though it doesn't really do much for us, uh, or hasn't been doing much for us. It does plenty, but uh, this game, there just has not been a need for it. And then at level 16, we took Soul Harvest because hitting the activatable, okay, I guess we can do that. Hitting the activatable on this gives you uh, health and spell power for every enemy that you hit. I didn't actually hit an enemy with it. Fuck. Um, but yeah, when you hit that, um, if you manage to hit five enemies, you get that 35%, which is a huge spell power and health bonus. It can save your life sometimes. It can also help you do a fuck ton of damage sometimes. So we're just going to walk in, put a zombie wall there, and start dealing damage. Looks like that is a dead rainer. Let's just keep flinging shit. I did not hit him with that. Bummer. Boss is going to take this keep. No problem, though. No problem at all. Boss may actually put some damage on core, if we're being honest. Just like what I said on the other side of the map. So let's slap our zombies down. Let's fling some toads. Get some spell power. Now put our gargantuan down, too. So he can tank some aggro and just put all of our damage on this core. Game over. Didn't use ice block once. Very little uh, fucking uh, use out of Soul Harvest 2, but you know what? Who fucking cares? We won the game on a map that we probably shouldn't have won on. Um... But everything worked out. Everything worked out A-OK. -okay. Yes, I will give that to you, because I like the way that you played. 100% of it. Okay. Damn. That wave was super tiny, but he went up there and hit it, so he got that. Nice! The build for this map and uh, this particular Nazebo is as follows. I took Thing of the Deep at level 1 because that range increase is incredibly noticeable. 20% is going to save you a lot from walking in because his ability ranges aren't short, but they're definitely not long enough. Uh, that's what she said. And then Blood Ritual at 2 to help with the sustain in the lanes on that map as well. Basically any map. You get 2% of your max health and mana back every time you kill an enemy with your voodoo ritual on them so if you're killing an entire minion wave that is 14 percent of your max health and mana back super useful and then spirit of Arakira was our spider um damage increase basically it's going to pop out more spiders if we only hit one person with it which is especially useful on heroes and then there is gargantuan uh that is basically zone denial and um yeah, that, that's really it. He just is able to sit on the point. He blocks skill shots because it's so huge, and he also does some pretty decent damage. Ice block, even though we never fucking used it, is uh, just slap the button, go invincible. Super cool! Soul Harvest is another activatable where if you activate it and hit enemies, you get additional maximum health and spell power for 15 seconds. Works on minions too, so if you just stand in a minion wave, boop, there you go. Uh, at 20, we probably would have taken Humongoid or Fury of the Storm because Vile Infection would not have been fucking worth it. So, uh, yeah. Don't take Vile Infection if you don't have your stacks by 20. Unless you're like maybe 5 away, in which case, really, really, really think about it. That's Nazebo, though. This is this cool new skin, uh, but this hero is... Easy-ish. What is that? Drop drop shot. That's got to be what that says. Um, 
anyway, yeah, give him a shot. He's de he's a quick match hero. He's a bit more easy to play around in draft too if you have a team that's willing to play with the draft uh, for you. But there are there are less fun characters out there for sure, for sure. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Thanks for YouTubing and doing whatever those things are that you do. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time.